hello uh, i'm going to walk you through um, a stream package starting from installation and then retrieval and visualization of the can data that has been recorded using comma ai panda and giraffe connector so let's get started first i will uh, source my virtual python virtual environment uh, that has been created using anaconda navigator so you can uh, look up elsewhere on internet on how to use anaconda and create python virtual environment um, okay and now i am going to install a stream since i already have any stream in stream in my system i'm so i'm going to use the upgrade command so that it reinstalls okay so the latest version is 10.1.3 so that's how you will install once install and now i am going to launch anaconda um okay and this will take a couple of minutes once I, it launches i will start uh, jupyter notebook and i will navigate to the folder where i want to create my notebook okay so this is where i will be using my notebook uh, let me clear it since i want to demonstrate this so okay clear now i will start with basic basic uh, import so basic import uh, right now the necessary import is import stream which will import uh, all the functions and uh, classes from stream then i will separately import a stream read class from a stream package uh, which is useful to read uh, can data and then i have my location for a dvc file set you need a dvc file to decode can messages uh, that you have logged in using uh, comma ai panda and giraffe okay and now uh, i have a stream read uh, object and then i will pass a csv file um, this csv file i have already downloaded and i can also pass a dvc file uh, dvc file equal to dvc file um, so this is the this is the, uh, the argument and this is the value and okay so i have it now i want to see how the data looks like okay so for that i will type r dot data frame and this is my whole data that was in this csv file in this csv file that i specified in the cell 3 and in the cell 4 you can see the output of the data frame now i want to visualize the count matrix the count histogram so this is the count histogram for every messages like this is for 37 36 37 170 180 and so on this is very useful to know that what how many messages has been recorded sometimes it happens that uh, only a couple of only a few messages was recorded using stream uh, using lib panda or any other uh, software that you use to record data from com ai panda and then you forget that you had you had recorded only a couple of messages and you want to tr you try to decode something that was not recorded and so that will give you error so it's better that always always visualize the count count histogram first and then i'm going to show you how to uh, get a time series message of message id 869 and the signal id 6 this information you will get in your dvc file uh, so in this case i want to visualize um message id 869 of, of signal id 6 and so let's see how the data looks like so right now the data is like this is the time and this is the message and this index ordering is as per the complete data frame that you are looking in the cell 4 output and this uh, our get underscore ts function selectively um, retrieves all the message of the message id 869 from the data frame um, then <coughs> uh, then i will i will be visualizing this data so let's visualize it 
so for that I will be using stream dot plt underscore ts that's an off the shelf function from stream and then you will pass this message 869 and then optionally you can also provide title that message 869 message id 869 and signal id 6 what it is right now we don't know or we don't have to bother about at this point you can always refer to your dvc file um, so the dvc file for this use uh, this example is in here um, and you can always look so like say for example um, my message is 869 so if I look at my DVC file then 869 is DSU cruise and I'm looking at uh, probably I'm looking at cruise request or lead distance uh, we have to get it clear later but um, one of these messages is a uh, signal id 6 you can also retrieve that actually uh, using this stream function that i will uh, show you in a uh, show you later uh, so yeah so right now it looks like this okay now i also have a very handy function called as a speed that will just retrieve uh, speed data uh, based on the dvc file uh, it will look for actually which message has a speed and then it will just uh, give you this so in this case like the speed is 180 so it will give you the speed message and so let's look at this piece of message okay so it looks like this and let's visualize the speed now so this is the speed now it looks like this and then uh, i will be using and now in the next tutorial in, in the next part of this tutorial i will show you how to use um integration and the differentiation and as well as a function that's called as a ts sync that will synchronize two time series data and create a uniformly sample time series data from a non-uniform uh, non-uniformly sample time series data because it happens that sometimes that not all the messages that are being recorded from the canvas or have uh, same frequency or the same data rate and also not all the messages have semi starting time and end time and so this ts sync what it does is that it creates uh, a starting and common end, common starting and common end time and also it uniformly samples based on the data rate that you provide okay so let's see so right now i have a ts i calculated ts yaw from ts yaw rate using integrate function from a stream and then i will interpolate um, to synchronize two time series data um, this this uh, sync function ts sync function uses cubic interpolation right now and so as you can see that the two messages are very nicely two messages are very nicely uh, overlapping it means that my interpolation is uh, very uh, is accurate and then let's yeah and then you can see as well that that interpolated speed it has since i asked for a data rate of the 10 and but actually speed has a, a lot higher uh, data rate so that's why the interpolated speed has uh six thousand and one one data points however the actual speed that i have here is sixteen thousand four hundred and sixty three you can also uh, get a trajectory information which will have a x and y coordinate and as well as x um, velocity in x direction and velocity in y direction so i am using trajectory functions from the stream read class and then let's see how the data looks like so data looks like this and then let's plot so this is my trajectory okay this might not be accurate right now but at the end the trajectory function is the one that will give you the trajectory we might improve upon it later okay now i also want to uh, demonstrate or show you how to check for uh, data rate quality of a certain message like say for example i want to check the data rate quality of the speed so for that i will use stream dot r analyze function and then i will pass uh, speed 
and analyzing the timestamp and data rate of this time series and so uh, what it tells you that for the most part my speed uh, so my data rate is distributed like around 50 hertz then sometimes it came at around like 25 hertz and so yeah so this is it um, if you need more information about stream then you can go to the documentation which is at jms csl group uh, dot github dot io slash stream and there are a lot more tutorial that will be added to this point so please bookmark this uh, website okay thanks for connecting with me bye bye